Tomorrow night is uh, is our Iron Bowl matchup against uh, Alabama. Tomorrow is all Auburn, all orange game, so we encourage all of our fans to wear orange. Um, they say it's all about matchups, and uh, the last time we matched up, we got pounded, 83-64. We turned it over 21 times. We sent a team that averages a pretty good clip of going to the foul line at 23 per game to the line 37 times in Coleman Coliseum. Um, they're second in the country in scoring. Um, they've scored 80 points 12 times, 90 points six times. They're sixth in the nation uh, with three pointers made over 10 a game. Uh, they spread you, they shoot you, uh, they drive you downhill. They got great, you know, great speed and quickness. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I actually think that. Um, you know, obviously, Coach Oates is doing a really good job, and I think the personnel um, that was at Alabama actually, I think, really suits what he does well. Um, he knows how to he knows how to take advantage of mismatches, and he knows how to create them. And um, got a great emphasis on tempo. They play they play at a real fast tempo. Uh, they've improved defensively throughout the season. You know, obviously, it's a dangerous team. It's a good team. I told the guys, I said, I said, why do you think those guys beat us up there last time? just were waiting for some answers, and they gave me a few different answers. I said, because they're good. Like, they're a really good team. They're picked fifth in the league in the preseason, and they got a lot of veterans. And the backcourt of, you know, Kyron Lewis and, you know, John Petty is, you know, they're two, two of the top ten scorers in the league, and, you know, Kyra, you know, is ranked in virtually every category, and they're really good. They're really fast. Um, you know, they've got, you know, Reese, who's a pick-and-pop four, pick-and-pop five, and he does a nice job. And, um, has improved, and, and uh, so we uh, we'll have to defend better. We'll have to not turn the ball over uh, uh, as often. They'll force some turnovers, but we got to do a better job of taking care of the ball ourselves. And um, um, you know, I think the fact that um, you know Alabama and a lot of the teams in our league are still in the hunt. Um, as I've said all year long, the teams that can keep their locker room are the ones that are going to be there at the end. Alabama's done enough work. They're 42 in the net. You know, they got a couple of big wins here down the stretch, and they can be right back in the conversation of being one of the teams in the tournament. So I know that they're going to be coming in and fighting for their lives along those lines because there just aren't that many games left where they could, you know, there are a few, but we're, we're obviously one of them. So um, there's a lot at stake for both teams. How's Angel doing? Hasn't practiced yet. Uh, may come in and work out today, um, but still struggling with uh, with the flu symptoms. And uh, he doesn't have a fever, which is really good. But you know, just took a pretty, pretty took a pretty heavy toll on him. So as we sit here today, the day before the game, he'll probably watch film. I don't know um, just how much he'll go if he'll go at all. What is the Nick? It's, it's almost like a mixed bag that you guys fall that far behind in the first place, but then also that you're able to kind of keep your your cool. And and what do you make of that? What does that say about the team? That... Well, we don't make any sense statistically. I mean, we just don't because uh, we don't excel um, in a lot of areas. Uh, we do a good job of getting in line. We do a good job rebounding the basketball. Uh, we do a good job of obviously staying in games and competing and playing throughout. Um, we've had, you know, some just heroic performances from, you know, you know, Devin Cambridge coming off the bench or, you know, Samir Doughty or Javon McCormick knocking down shots or you know, Anthony McLemore making five threes at Ole Miss or, you know, you know Austin Wiley uh, having an incredibly dominant game physically against, you know, Kentucky or LSU. It's been just, it's been a different guy. Uh, every night, and, and the one, you know, Isaac Okoro has been a constant. You know, he's, he, he, and, he and Samir have probably been our two most consistent performers. So I, I think the team, the team has shown some chemistry, um, some mental toughness. Um, gosh, to be, to have a record right now um, with our statistic uh, breakdown, it just doesn't make any sense other than to give the team credit for how hard they're fighting and, and how, you know, how they're able to manage to win close games. The, the
problem is that we're in all these close games because we're just not that much better than our opponents. Um, and I, the reason why I so often say, you know, we've been good and flirting with the, well, are we very good yet or we're good or where are we? Um, you know, we, last week we talked about it being moving week. We're either going to move ourselves in position to contend for the conference championships or not. And we had, we did, we moved in there. I mean, last week we beat three, we had three quadrant one wins, you know, the wins, let's just say, are Kentucky, Arkansas, LSU. Those are the three top net teams in our league and those were our last three games. It's a good week. But I also had included Alabama in that conversation about moving week because Alabama's 42 in the net and uh, a really good team. And I, I continue to say, if we, don't, if we don't get better, we're gonna start losing, you know? And certainly, you know, the last couple games have been in overtime. Those easily could have been losses and we could just as easily be sitting here at six and four as we could eight and two. What are two or three three things you really want to get better at? I mean, I'd like to defend better and have better, you know, get more stops and not allow so many direct line drives to the basket. I think we're fourth in the league and giving up the number of three pointers. And, I mean, just we got a lot of work to do there, and we're working on some things. Um, and then uh, probably offensive efficiency. I'd like to do a better job on the break because we're such a good rebounding team. We should have a better percentage of what we can do on the break and advance past the ball a little bit more and, and then when the break's not there run, run, run better offense and get some better looks mix up their inside outside stuff people are building walls like like Alabama did a great job of just building a wall and jumping in front of us you know, they probably took or tried to take 15 charges in the game up there so they're going to jump in front of Isaac Carl and Sooner Dowdy and Jamie McCormick and try to get a legal park guarding position and uh and they do a good job of that. Where do you think you guys have improved the most as a team since the last time you played Alabama? Say it again? Where have you improved the most as a team since the last time you played Alabama? <sighs> um, I mean, we might be shooting a little bit better in the sense that um, coming back from those two losses, we, we really shot it well against South Carolina. Um, Shot it well enough at Ole Miss, you know. I, I would think I'm not sure, but I would say that I would say that I bet you since that game we probably shot it a little better. Um, but we've continued to rebound it better, and I'd say our assist turnover ratio is a little bit better since we've done it. We've done a better job playing off two feet. Um, you remember that weekend we only had 13 assists in two games against Alabama and Florida. Jay Bob McCormick's had 16 assists in the last three games by himself. So I'd say that's probably a cistern ratio, maybe shooting it better. Everybody good? All right.